Hello, hello, hello. It's Aretris Hollins, and I wanted to make this quick video to show you how to submit orders, okay? So, of course, you're going to log into your Avon.com, and this is the page you're most likely going to see, unless they update it again. You know, we're having all these updates lately, but basically, your menu should remain the same, okay? So, you're going to go to My Orders. And of course, my computer is going to take a minute. But um, if you are brand new, you're first going to add your customer here. So you click this button. You're going to add the first name, last name, and you're going to have to add either their email address or their phone number. Okay. So, because um, you're going to have to have a method of contact with them. So once you do that, you'll hit add customer and then it'll add into the system. So then you'll come over here and you'll begin to type in their name. So we're gonna use a reach with Hollins as an example, okay? Her name is there, I click on it. It's in the correct campaign because I'm creating one for campaign 18. And then I'm going to hit create order. So what's gonna pop up now is the opportunity for me to submit the order. So make sure her name is here and make sure the correct campaign number is here. Now remember, the item, the product number is that six digit code that is in the brochure. Now there's two different things you can do here. You can either directly enter the item number here and then choose a quantity. Of course, you know, that's not a valid number. <laughs> or you can shop by brochure, okay? So you wanna go into the brochure. This is if you need to. I wanna go into campaign 18. Well, let me go back for one minute. And well, you have access to all brochures here that are for campaign 18 so you have the main brochure you have the mag the mark book both outlets and all our other sales flyers so anything that you want to see you can look at it there so we're going to go to campaign 18 let's say the product that my customer wanted is perfume okay i go through and i can actually look at all the pages of the brochure so let's say I'm going through and I find exactly what she wants. Oh, well, she wants the Avon Passion, which happens to be one of my favorite perfumes. You click, you click on it and then you hit one in there. Then you add to order, continue shopping because it was something else that she wanted. So I'm going to go through the brochure a little bit more. And let's say she wanted, instead of fragrance, she wanted a piece of jewelry. Okay. So you're going to go through the brochure and let's say she said, oh, well, a retrace, the item that I wanted is on page 148. So you go to 148. It's like, oh, she wants a necklace. So you click on the necklace. It pops up there. She wants one of those. You hit one in there. Then you add it to the order. Okay. Now you have the option to either view order or continue shopping. I don't want to continue shopping anymore. So I'm going to view the ordering and make sure everything is in the cart properly. So I click on view order. Then I scroll down to the bottom, okay? Because remember, up here is where you're adding the items. And then if you know the item number, you're adding it there, and then you add, you hit add items to order. So let me just find something here in this brochure. And I know, okay, well, she also wanted this three-piece set. So campaign 18, the item number was 372-860-1. Then I add it. Hmm. Well, that's not available right now. So then I need to double check and verify because that'll happen sometimes if you don't have the correct campaign number here. Okay. Um, what if it's in, what if she wants to order something and it's in a different campaign? So you know we can back order, right? That What that means is even though it's campaign 18, I can order from brochure 18 brochure 17 or brochure 16 okay now what she wanted was in brochure 17 so i need to hit brochure 17 because i want to make sure she has she gets the right price for everything okay so let's put this in here and see how this works okay i, add, I hit add items to order and i'm going to go down here Okay, the perfume was added down there and it's for $12.99 because that's the sale price for campaign 17. Always make sure that you have the right brochure numbers here because if not, you're going to be charged um, the wrong amount. 
okay? So always double check that you have the right brochure number here for the items. Let's say there was something in campaign 16. Someone contacted you and said, oh, well, the item that I wanted is in brochure 16. Okay, so I go there, brochure 16. Let me put the item number in, 144352. Then I click add items to order. And then you'll see down at the bottom where it's added in. Okay, now I want to go through. If you want to edit the order, you can change things up. But now I want to view cart. Okay, now when I'm viewing the cart, I can see my entire order here. That's everything for Aretra's Hollands. Now, when I'm ready to submit that, you, what you want to do is you want to combine all your orders together. What that means is I have Aretra's Hollands' order here, but um, let's say Martha contacts me to place an order. So I'm going to start a new order for, for Martha, okay? You want to collect all, you don't want to submit your orders separately. You want to add them all into the same cart. So now I'm going to hit enter Martha here. Create order. Okay. Now I happen to know that Martha wanted the um, faraway perfume. So I'm going to enter the item number for Martha. I'm going to add the items to my cart. Now I'm going to scroll down and make sure I charge her the right price. Okay, brochure 18 there, far away perfume. The price is $12.99. I don't need to edit the order because I know everything I want is in there. Now I'm going to view cart. Here's my, here's my order cart. So you want to keep adding everyone's orders in and building your cart. So now I'm going to select this because I want to submit it. It's my order due date. I've gotten all my orders together. So now I'm going to select this, which is going to highlight all of these. You want to make sure that there's a check mark next to all of their names. Then you scroll down some more. How many customers are being served with this order? It's saying one only because Aretha's Hollands is me. But I can change that if I want to and make that four. Okay. Um, so right now it's one. You're going to choose regular shipment. Continue. Now you have an option to order the brochures. Whenever you submit an order, it's always going to give you the option to order extra brochures. Okay? So you're going to hit enter how many you want in there. Remember, they order in packs of 10. All the packages are in orders of 10 or in groups of 10. So if you hit one in here, you're going to get 10 brochures. And here's the pricing for the brochures. Okay? Um, I normally order 100 brochures, 100 brochures on, or $21.49. Um, because I'm doing the power of three, I'm giving brochures to all my current customers and customers who might not have ordered in a while, okay? So that's why I would put 10 packs for 100 brochures. But notice also, the more brochures you order, the less they cost individually. 100 brochures are 21 cents each. 10 brochures are 64 cents each, okay? so. Once you do that, you can also order Mark brochures. Mark's price is geared towards the younger crowd, okay? So I can order Mark brochures and Avon Living brochures, okay? Then they're always going to have a don't miss the special um, offer. So this is an item that you can quickly buy. Continue to order summary. Okay. So right here, it's showing me every single thing that I've ordered. And it's asking me here if I want to submit the order. I'm not going to submit the order because I really don't want to buy these things. But if you look here, it'll show you your estimated subtotal, how much shipping is going to cost, tax, and then your estimated total. This will also show you how much you earn from it. Okay, it gives you um, notice ahead of time so you don't have to wait to figure it out. So this is how much you've earned once you've properly co collected all of your fees here, okay? So then what you would do is just submit order and then um, everything will be processed, okay? I hope that has helped you comment if or, or contact me if you have any further questions about this, okay? I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.